You have probably heard about ESP32 and now you are wondering how to program this little guy. Well, you are in the right place. Yes, it is true that YouTube already contains a bunch of videos which covering this topic, where these guys use the Arduino ID to program this module. But now we will try something different. In this tutorial we will use a programming language called Lua and see how simple applications can look when they are written in this language. You want to be connected on your Wi-Fi network. Four lines of code. Maybe create a simple HTTP server. Seven lines. Want to measure the temperature. There you go. To be able to write applications in Lua, we need to inject the correct firmware into ESP32. According to Wikipedia definition, the firmware is a specific class of computer software that provides the low-level control for the device's specific hardware. So basically, there are three layers. Bottom layer is hardware, in this case hardware of ESP32. Top layer is our application which is written using Lua. The coupler that connects these two layers is middle layer called the firmware. So basically the main task of firmware is to translate our Lua code so ESP32 can understand what we want to tell them to do. Name of firmware which we will use in this tutorial is NodeMCU. NodeMCU is an open source Lua based firmware for the ESP32 and use an on module flash based file system. Because this firmware is open source and completely configurable, it is not pre built, but it is left to us to make that step. When we go to the Building the Firmware section of NodeMCU documentation, we can see that there is three ways of building. I have chosen the third way. Building the firmware using Linux build environment. For this purpose, we will use Ubuntu Server 1604. If you don't have Ubuntu and you do not know how to install them, don't worry, it's easy. Please follow the link in the description below. On the left side of screen, there is a fresh installed Ubuntu 1604 while on the right side you can see a list of commands that we need to execute on Ubuntu in order to prepare the building environment. First command will download the latest version of Lua firmware from the official GitHub repository. Using cd command, let's navigate ourselves now into newly created firmware folder. The following four commands will install the necessary dependencies that are required for building. The execution of these commands lasts about 10 minutes, so I will go fast forward. I have to point out that environment preparation need to be done only once. So for a building firmware in future, you need to execute only two commands. One for configuration and one for a build. After the last command, everything is ready for build. But before we execute the building command, let's see how the configuration of firmware looks like. Do you remember when I said that the Node MCU is completely configurable? Well, this is why I mentioned that. In this configuration menu which you can see here, you can practically configure every part of this firmware. I will not speak too much about this configuration, I will only mention that the most interesting part of config for us is this component config section. In this section you have subsection with the name Node MCU modules. Here you can enable modules which you think that you will need in your project, or disable some unnecessary ones and free up some memory space on your ESP. For example, I will enable this SPI modules and this module for analog to digital conversion. After choosing your modules you can save and then exit from configuration menu. Make. This command will build Lua firmware using your previously set configuration. And that's it. Our Lua firmware 
has been successfully built. But wait, where is firmware? Ok, firmware of Lua is separated into three files. Each path of that file is shown on your screen. Let's open now FTPS window of Bitwise SSH client and download that files from Ubuntu to Windows. First go into main folder of firmware, then go to folder build. From there, download nodemcu.bin and partitions single app.bin. Go into bootloader folder and download bootloader.bin file. Now, when we have firmware ready, we can switch to more interesting part. There is our little guy. Take your ASP and plug it in into USB port of your PC. PC have detected that some device was connected. When we open device manager, we can see that PC have already registered our device. But even the PC have registered them, we need to download and install the necessary driver. So let's search for CP21OX driver and download them from Silicon Labs web page. Once when the download is complete, extract downloaded zip file and run setup file. Installation is simple, just click next and you are done. Now, in Device Manager, you can see that driver USB to UART bridge has been successfully installed. For flashing the firmware, we will use the Python script, and if we don't have installed Python, well, we need to install them. Ok, go to official Python web page and download the latest version. Once when download is complete, run the installation by click on downloaded setup file. On first page of installation wizard, check the checkbox with the label add python to path. Then choose the customize installation and that will take us to next page. On this page everything is ok, so click next. Well, on this page let's choose installation for all users. Click on install button and wait for a few moments. When the installation of Python is complete, open the command prompt as an admin and execute pip install esp tool. Take your ESP32 again and press the boot button. While you hold the boot, press the reset button once and then release them both. That maneuver will switch ESP to programming mode. While your ESP laying there in programming mode, open the command prompt again and with cd navigate to folder where we have firmware that we take from Ubuntu a few minutes ago. We can execute dir just to be sure that we are in correct folder. Command for flashing the firmware is a little bit longer, but don't worry, every command that you have seen in this video will be in description below so you can just copy and paste it. Like me. Ok. In this command, it is important to type the correct serial port of your ESP. You may have already noticed that the serial port of ESP was shown in Device Manager. So, port of my ESP is COM7. And this command is correct and I can execute them. And that's it. Lua is up and running on your ESP. In next video tutorial I will try to show with a small example 
how you can write your first Lua script and easily upload them to your ESP. So, thanks for watching guys and if you think this video is useful, you can support me with a click on that little subscribe button. Till the next time, see ya!